Hi, I'm Milan. In this video, we're going to see if I can produce code in ChatGPT that I can copy and paste into Power BI. In this video, I want to see if we can create a chart that shows the number of new and returning customers, something a bit like this. What we can see here is a series of bar charts that show new customers and returning customers. I want to see if ChatGPT can provide code to enable me to do this. As always, the first thing that I will do is create this myself, and then we will see what ChatGPT comes up with. I will show you my fact internet sales table. We have sales order number, which it's important to note isn't distinct. If a sale has, if an order has more than one item, it will have multiple order lines. So a key thing to note here is that we will be doing a distinct count. The next thing we need is our customer key to know which customer placed the order. And the third is the order date, the date of the order. Those are the only three columns that we need in order to do this. So let's head over to our report and let's first start off by bringing in a table with the three columns that we need. So we need sales order number, we need order date and customer key. What we want to do is have a bar chart that shows the total number of orders per month and which of those are from new or returning customers. The first thing we need to do is create a measure to calculate the total number of orders. And this is simply going to be a distinct count of orders. I'm going to move it into my measure table as well. And now we can start creating our chart. We can have total orders on the y-axis and order date on the x-axis. And there we are. But of course, we're missing that additional dimension. So this is where we need to go ahead and create it. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a calculated column, which will show whether each customer here is a new or returning customer based on their order. So in a customer with the first order will be shown as a new customer, but that same customer with a second order at a later date will be shown as a returning customer. That is what we want to show and count. All right, I'm going to move this table down a little bit as well as this, and we will create a new column. I'm going to call this customer status. There are a few ways I can write this. The way I'm going to use may not be the most efficient, but it will be probably the easiest to understand, especially if you're new to Power BI. So the things that we need are the order date and the customer key, because then we can compare the table and say, is there another order from this customer with an order date before this one? If so, they are a returning customer, otherwise they are a new customer. So I'm going to do it in a very easy to understand way. So I've created two variables that simply extract the order date and the customer key. The next thing we want to do is return now for this, we can count the number of rows, that is sales order numbers, with our criteria. So calculate the count of sales order number. This doesn't actually have to be distinct because all you want to know is, are there any rows, are there any records in the past? We then want to calculate it on the entire fact internet sales table not just the row being looked at in the current context. And we want our first filter to be where the customer key equals our customer.
and this customer is a variable that we just created. And the next variable will be where the order date is before the date ordered. So we don't actually want the number that is being returned. We want, if there is a number being returned, then we want returning customer. And if there is no number, then we want new customer. So we can wrap this in an if statement. We can then wrap it in a not is blank. So if it is not blank, if there are records in the past, then what we want to say is return customer otherwise new customer and that is it that is our customer status column and we can drag this in to make sure that it works Okay, so this works, and now what we want to do is simply drag this as a legend onto our chart. So we can click on our chart, go to our new column, and bring it in as a legend. I'm also going to change this to a stacked column chart. And there we are. So now I want to see if ChatGPT can provide us with a calculated column that can do the same. What I'm going to do with ChatGPT, however, is not actually ask it to give me an if statement. It might get a bit confused. I will try it, but the first thing I'm going to do is ask it to give me a statement that calculates the number of previous orders. So before we do any of that, I'm first going to tell ChatGPT my table and column names and ask it to return it to me, just so I know it has understood what I am saying. Okay, so I'm quite happy with what it has returned back to me. As you can see, it has given me an example of a sale with multiple lines, which is great. That's perfect. That's exactly what I have in the data. And the customer key and the order date are both the same. I then have other sales order numbers with different customers and different dates. So this is great. This is a really good start. Now I am going to ask it to give me a calculated column. So all I've said is I want to create a calculated column in Power BI that calculates the number of previous orders by the customer. Write this for me. So looking at this, now not only has it told me what the code is, it's told me how to implement it, which is great. But looking at the code, it's written a very similar statement to mine. It's using a count function, which is great. That's all we need to do. We just want to know if there are any previous records. And rather than using variables, it is using this earlier expression. And if you don't know what earlier is or how to use it, then there is a great video by Enterprise DNA. So this expression should work. However, I'm not going to copy and paste it yet. I am now going to ask ChatGPT to write me a similar expression, but with an if statement. So what this has done is take this calculation and put it into an if statement. However, I want it all in one expression. So this looks like it is working. What I'm going to do is copy and paste this directly into Power BI. I'm going to create a new column. And now I'm going to put it alongside my column in the table. And as you can see that for the rows we're seeing, uh, they look the same. What I'm going to do is scroll down. So now we're seeing the records in the table where there are return customers. And as you can see, ChatGPT's version, which is a column on the right, matches the one I have on the left. 
indicating to me that it is correct. And like I said, from the code that it has generated, uh, it is similar to mining logic. This uses earlier, which I would say is more efficient. It may not make sense if you're new to Power BI, which is why I didn't use this expression, but I am glad that ChatGPT did because this is, I think, the best way to write this measure. Now all we need to do is create a copy of this chart. I am going to remove the legend and bring in the customer type from ChatGPT. And as you can see, it is the same, indicating that ChatGPT has been able to produce code that I could copy and paste into Power BI to create this chart. Please give the video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'll see you on the next one.